Thank you, Lord. I said, well, it's all right. It's going to be all right. And uh, the reason I wanted her to sing that song was because it was just in my spirit. There's some of you need to know that God has not forgotten you. Amen. And you need to know that if he's ever done it before, he will yet do it again. The Bible decrees and declares that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I have an unusual passage of scripture. I don't believe I've ever preached from it before. You need to take something out of this mic because I'm going to have a lot of in it if you don't. Amen? And I don't like that. So Isaiah chapter 11 and we're going to read verse 10 and a piece of 11. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse. That root of Jesse is Jesus Christ. Amen. Which shall stand for an ensign of the people. You know that old song uh, about the sign? Oh, never mind. Uh, Y'all too, too holy for me now. Uh, uh, don't to it, right? uh, uh, Some of us need a sign. Yeah. And amen. Jesus is the sign. Right. Amen. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. The remnant of his people. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So what I, I want to say this morning is that oh. the Lord is saying to you, I have set my hand a second time. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. He said, I've done it before. Yes. And stuff has happened. Amen. No! 
filled a ditch with water. Twelve barrels. Let me go ahead and help you. Twelve barrels of water. It wasn't a little drizzle of water. It wasn't a little spray, spray, spray. It was twelve barrels of water. And he's standing right there saying, Come on. Go ahead. Tell it. The God that answers by fire, let him be God. Right. Uh -huh. Y'all know what happened, don't you? Well, God moved his hand. But now you find a prophet in a cave because one woman said, I'm going to kill you. All right. All right. And so sometimes in the heat of your struggle, you forget about the victory you've already had. That's right. Amen. And that's why it's important that faith comes Amen. by hearing Amen. and hearing by the word of God. You have to rehearse your victories. You've got to rehearse where God's Amen. already brought you from. You've got to look in the mirror and say, self. <laughs> I guess that's too real for some of y'all. Self, as Brown would say, I said to myself, self. Right. Uh, anybody ain't know who Brown is to Somebody knows who Brown is, surely. You know who Brown is. He's my buddy. I like Brown. He's a self. In other words, that's what I'm trying to get you today. Look in the mirror of God's word and say, self, that's what God says. Self, Amen. this is what God's going to do. Self, don't you see Amen. that the word of God is living, it's vibrant, it's alive. Amen. Hallelujah, it's not like no other book. The, the, the Congress has got all that library, and it's got all kinds of books in it, but it's not one book on their shelf that can transform anybody's life. But this one book, hallelujah, can transform your life. It can renew your mind. It can give you back your health and your hope. Hallelujah. It can give you back everything that the enemy came to steal. The Bible says in John 10, 10 that the thief, he comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I come to tell you this is not the time to quit. This is not the time to give up. It's a time to pursue.
sometimes try to be offended, but the Lord won't let us. Oh, that's good. I like that. Every time I want to be, He won't let me. Every time I want to be about it. Amen. Yeah, no, it won't. Amen. That's true. I can confess something to you right now, and it'll just blow your mind. It's true. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. I'm leaving it alone. All right. Help us. Thank you, Jesus. Charles Swindoll says, News articles may inform you. Novels may inspire you. Poetry may enrapture you. But the uh, but only the living, active Word of God can transform you. Amen. That's yeah. a See, we've been raised to get mad about certain things anyway. Let's be real. That's right. You've you got some DNA of your mama and your daddy on the inside of you. Amen. And every once in a while, it comes to the top. Yeah. I can say 982 times. I don't want to be like one either, but one either jumps out every now and then. Yeah. 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 She was loud and obnoxious and aggravating and frustrated and all the other good stuff you want to label it. But do I love her? Shut yeah. I do love her. Am I going to be good to her? You better know it. That's Amen. right. But do I like everything she does? Absolutely not. But I guarantee if I took the time to interview Jesus, he would have to say the same thing about me. Amen. He said, I don't like everything Amen. you do. Come on now. You so that makes me have a heart of compassion to say while he's working on me. Now, this church, if you're part of this church, you've got a lot of word in you already. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. My question to you this morning is when are you going to let it arise? Amen. Woo. And this is my sermon, Mark chapter 5, verse 4. Wow. You're ready to preach now. Come on, preach it. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha Kuna, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. arise. What are you preaching, preacher? The Lord said to ask you, when will you let that word that's in your belly come back to life and work? Amen, amen, amen. That means he's already taken you by the hand. Amen. He's already spoke word to you. And that word is a living word. And the only reason it's suppressed or depressed or, or not alive is because you won't let it live. Amen. Wow. I know y'all looking at me like, what in the world is she talking about today? Well, let me show you. Uh, to, uh, to arise means to arouse calls to get up, to arise, arouse from sleep, to wake up. If it's ever been a day the church world needs to get on their feet, it is today. If it's ever been a day that the church world needs to be awake, it is today. If it's ever uh, to arouse from the death, sleep of death, it's to recall the dead to life. There's a lot of prophetic words you've received through the years. There's been a lot of preaching you've heard through the years, and you've done absolutely nothing with it. It's like dead inside of your belly. And the Lord, when will you let it arise? When will you let it put you on your feet? When will you let it work in your situation? When, when, when? I say when. He's talking. My Lord, help us. Amen. Arise. The cause to rise from a seat or bed. Some of y'all are sitting on your derriere not doing anything for the kingdom of God. You come to church on Sunday morning, you look pretty. I hope you smell good. <laughs> but what are you letting the word do in your Amen. life? Amen. I'm serious about this thing. I ain't playing. Because I hear the Lord. I hear him clearly. He said, time to get up. Time to get up. Time to get up. So wherever you've got lazy on them chairs, it's time for you to shake yourself and say, I can't keep sitting here. i got stuff I need to be doing. I, to raise up is to produce. 
You were not put here just to come to church. You were put here to be fishers of men. Amen. Amen. Every chair in here that don't have a hiney sitting in it is your fault. Whoa. Amen. Sheep begat sheep. Shepherds feed sheep. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 It's your fault the chairs is it. Amen. What do you go out there and tell when you're in the street? What do you go out there and say in front of your family? What do they hear you say about the church? Amen. Oh, I come to preach today. So you got to get up from that seat and say, let me tell you one thing. And practice one thing Juanita told me. If you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That might not be Bible, but it works. <laughs> That's one of them old things that the old saints believed in. The mama believed in it. Amen. So he said, get up from that bed or that seat to produce. We were put here to produce after our own time. Yes. So if you are born again, spirit-filled, on fire believer, all the folks you hang with, uh, if you keep letting the fire burn, it's going to get off on them before long, they're going to be the same time. Amen. Amen. If you come to church Amen. and you don't care where you're coming off and your attitude's the same way, everybody you hang with will have the same uh, attitude. Amen. She helped me. She beat my rear end and saved my soul from hell. Amen. <laughs> if she couldn't talk you, she didn't do much talking. <laughs> if she said it, she meant it. She, she did what she said she yeah. going to do. Amen. And she promised you a whipping, honey. You can mark it down. Your whip, whipping was on the books. And it wasn't going to be next week, next year. It was going to be that very day that she promised it. But don't you know that if my mama was that faithful, God is more faithful. Uh, don't you know that if he's made your promise, he's going to honor it. Uh, don't you know he's going to back up his word. Uh, the Bible says he'll honor his word above his name. Uh, hallelujah. So you better get some word in your belly. Uh, you better know what that word says. Uh, Isaiah says uh, that his word will not return void, uh, but it will accomplish word to his said. Uh, hallelujah. So I'm here to tell you, uh, every word you've ever heard, uh, every prophetic word ever gone in your life, uh, you need to stir it up. Uh, See fruits from my labor. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you. So for those of you that are struggling today, I've come to talk to you. You need to understand that God's going to accomplish his desires and purposes in your life. Right. Sister Minister Phillips here just a few weeks ago was couldn't even walk. Amen. Couldn't even walk. She was struggling. She got to get for the car. She get on the porch and sit down, and then get in here, sit on the back row, and then eventually work her way to the front. That was a few weeks ago. But a second time, he moved his hand. Amen. So I think you need to stand up. And just spread across here like you on the line, you know, like you the Miss America right now. So that should make everybody in here that's struggling with a situation in your body say, well, if he did it for her, he moves his hand a second time, he will recover. He'll recover your joints. He'll recover every other area you're fighting with in your body. If he's healed one, he heals everyone. He said, I move my hand a second time. I ain't never preached that guy in my life. Yeah. Jeremiah 23, 28 says, let the one who has my word speak it. 
faithfully. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Jeremiah 23, 28. Let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. Amen. So stop changing your story every other day. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, yes, 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 yes. Don't stand and say today, God is with me. God is healing. Yes. And tomorrow, if you don't feel good, feel oh, no. say, well, I thought he did. Son of a 
Thank you.
where the devil is just pushing on you and pushing on you. You need to tell the devil, get off of me because I'm I overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. 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 Whatever sickness is in your body, you need to tell it, leave my body. Amen. Because the wounds of Jesus, according to his word, has made me whole. Amen. If you got trouble with finances, you need to tell, tell him, listen here, I'm a tither and a giver. Amen. Therefore, I know my bank account is right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> I got one more verse that really is really, 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 really blew my mind. Y'all ready for it? John 8, 51. Is it up there yet? I want y'all to read that to me. Verily, if a man keeps my saying, he shall never see it. Yes. Amen. Amen. I think y'all need to read that again. Y'all need to get it. Try it again. Very, very. 